Welcome to my garden. We're going to talk about bulbs and one of the ones that I love to grow are narcissus. Now that encompasses daffodils too, which I did in my first collection. The narcissus has a crown like uh, the daffodil, but it's a little bit smaller. And one of the things I like to give at Christmas time is a pot full of um, paper whites, which is the, the version that you force the bulbs in the winter and give along with amaryllis. It's a, it's a pretty presentation. And that's what we're going to concentrate on today, although I will mention we can do the coloring. The crown just changes the color. The petals are still white. The dyes have everything that you need in, uh, that come in there. You've got the crown, the petals, the leaves, the calyx, and the um, stamen. And it all comes in the seed packet so you can create your flowers. I've cut these out of white and I don't know if you can tell on this one here, but let me bend this back a little bit. You can see the little bit of yellow inside I've highlighted closer to the, the stem of the petal. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to place it on our nonstick pad and I'm going to use my pan pastels with a little bit of yellow and just highlight the stem end of that white petal with a little bit of yellow like I've done on this one. Place it on the, the molding pad and using the, the loop tool for shaping, we're going to pull down on the petal, going from the outer edge to the stem edge several times. And then I also want to add some definition with character lines. So that goes on to the leaf pad and we're going to use the leaf tool to do that. And that's just dragging some lines to really accentuate that look of the petal. It gives it more character and it gives a little bit more detail. Use your tweezers to pinch up on that end. And then what you want to do is start bending around the petal and giving it some form. So it doesn't look so flat. It has that rounder, softer look that the petals have. Now I do that on all six petals. And then I place my calyx on the mat and we're going to use the medium ball stylus and stir. And I actually turn counterclockwise. It pops up and you can then have a piece like this. I've started to add two petals. I'm going to place it over here on my non-stick pad because it makes it easier so you don't get glue onto your good working pad. I've dragged the petal through the glue and you can hold Hold it in place with the point of either your, your tweezers or your leaf tool, anything that will hold the center. I'm going to place a petal on every other projection going around the calyx, leaving the other three open. We set this one aside. You can see where I've started to add the final petals in between those and we'll add the very last one. Again, dragging it through the glue a little bit holding it in place and then placing that last petal. So you've got three a little closer in than the other three and there's six petals. Now placing that aside, let's work on the crown. That is done. I've actually cut that out of coffee filter paper. And the reason being is that I wanted a little softer, airier look. You can certainly do it out of cardstock, but the bending and shaping works very well. Plus it colors nicely. You can see on the Narcissus, I've colored it yellow and then um, shaded it with some reddish orange um, pan pastels. On the paper white, it happens to be the perfect color because it's just a little bit off color. It's not a white, but it's like a, a creamy color. So it works out perfect. If you place that on your mat and now using the small end of your loop tool from the outer edge, start to pull in and you see how much shaping you get on this paper. Coffee filters are pretty easily obtainable. They're, um, you can get them in a stack and, and make quite a few flowers. But look at the, the nice detail you get out of that. Now if you'd like to do it even further you could add it all the way around but I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to take my tweezers and bend up on the little tab ends. And then a little bit of glue onto that end there. And you can bring it around to seal it. Now you can either use your tweezer as a, 
as a vise to hold it a bit while it dries um, and then set it aside a little bit. This one's dried in about five minutes and so I'm now going to take and just roll down the edges. Because it's also the coffee filter, I can also crinkle it a little bit more because I really want that nice shaping. And before I add it to the center, which I've got set on my nonstick pad, I'm going to take and dip the end of this, the flower or paint it with a toothpick. And then I'm going to set it in place in the center. Bend out your petals a little bit. Now the only thing we need to add is the stamen, which I've cut out of a deeper orange paper here. I'm going to go ahead and cut them a little finer with the, the scissors like I do on several of my stamens to make them a little thinner. And again, holding that tab with your tweezers, roll it towards the opposite end and secure it with a little bit of glue to that end. Fan it out. You can dip it in some of the glue lightly, just dabbing it so the ends are coated. And then I'm going to probably, I'm looking at the flower, probably either this, this deeper orange, I'm gonna add some pollen to it. And then we take the stamen and place it inside the, the flower. Now once it's, it's done, we're going to add its leaves, as I've done with this one here. The leaves just have a stem line, and that's created by placing it on the leaf pad and just drag your leaf tool down the center. You're going to turn it to the right side now, pinch up on it. If you'd like to add some shaping to the end, you can take your, your um, medium ball stylus and give a little quick to the end. It, it just gives a little curve. I'm gonna dip the stem end into the glue and then I'm gonna slide it under my project just as so. And it adds a beautiful finished product to your bouquet of spring flowers.